So the professional video crew's out today. Um, Dan and I, though, really wanted to share um, some of our new insights in cupping. We've talked a lot about how cupping is, I mean, if you're just approaching it, it's a test. If you're using, structuring the test the same way every time, then um, using the same cupping form, using the same cupping method and process, regardless of the origin or regardless of what you're trying to discover about the coffee, whether it's a pre-ship sample, an arrival sample, or you're going to write a full review, you know, uh, using the same method doesn't always work. Well, we've kind of changed that a little. Dan's going to talk a little about um, some of our new methods. Well, yeah, I mean, what we found is um, relying on your taste buds can be problematic at best at times. I mean, um, sometimes we have to uh, move away from our taste buds right. <laughs> and, uh, and use what we've come up with, which is hand feel. Um, right. And there's a lot of psychological factors in cupping, too. So you could be this is this tactile approach, I think, has um, can overcome some of the problems and it gives you another dimension. It's surprising. Another aspect. How, yeah, it's surprising how much information you can actually parse out um, just by using your hands. I mean, in the past, hand feel has been relegated to uh, an accidental spill and a burn, or right. you know, through the lens of a uh, through the filter of a, uh, a paper towel when you're cleaning up your mess if you spill your coffee. Right. And That's so you're not able feel. to really. You're not. Able Why don't we look at the library? And um, we've been working on a taste library to index uh, some of the different flavors, especially here we have a whole shelf of sweetnesses with types of yeah. sugars. Um, we have Muscovado sugar, Demerara, here's a little uh, simple syrup, and we use this to taste... The sugar cane is there. Yeah, yeah, we, we use this to, to decide there. what kind of flavors yeah. we're tasting in coffee. But what we found is um, sometimes when we're having a hard time coming up with uh, that descriptor, we actually dilute a little bit of the sugar in water and we'll pour the coffee in our hand, Okay. followed by pouring the sugar in your hand. And from okay. there you can decide uh, what the tactile feel of brown sugar is as opposed to the tactile So do you want to discuss the lubricants and oils then? It's another thing. We talk about coffee as being oily and there we're talking about mouthfeel. Viscosity. Uh, yeah, viscosity. Yeah. But so what viscosity are we using here? Yeah, what type of oil? 50. <laughs> okay. Uh, or, or a penetrating oil. Okay, if it's penetrating, yeah. So you're, you're dealing with um, physical weight yeah. in your hand, uh, and you're putting that up against the physical weight of the coffee in your hand. I felt that the Natural Ethiopia uh, Richa arrival we cut today had a lot of... Um, a lot of that penetrating aspect in the fruit notes, but it carried over into the mouth feel and the hand feel. I think we really, we really got it. So do we want to just do a quick yeah, demo? Um, yeah, sure. I'll just show what, what we've come up with so far. One of the, the issues is, is that I, I, we feel that that extra, that extra dimension that we're getting in evaluating coffee with hand feel um, is less appropriate with some coffees and more appropriate with others. And here, we have a coffee that we've used the word viscosity and oily and dense and sticky and a spongy, especially more than ever, which is uh, Indonesians. These are Sumatras. So we have our reference sample and we have a set of offer samples. Some of these are landed. Some of these are offers. The problem is that we've already gone through and we've cupped them with a spoon and we know our scores. Now let's go through with our hands and find out what extra dimension, how the coffees shift with the added um, uh, looking at them or feeling them. Let's not use the visual metaphor anymore. Okay? So the problem is we still use a spoon because we haven't figured out how to dispense the coffee directly into our hands yet. But I would like to I would like to do that. Would you? Yeah, you just need much bigger bowls, you know, and Probably a much bigger table in the world. So the yoke of the spoon that's that's sort of kept us in captivity as tasters, um, you know, we're trying to get away from that, but we haven't fully. So this is not fully blind. We've already revealed what the coffees are. And I'm just going to go ahead and show the basic technique. I need to kind of position my body differently. And also, I'm very concerned about cupping posture. Um, I've had a lot of trouble, strains in the neck. And I think this, because you're bringing the, the coffee up, so... This is my basic technique, is I take my spoonful, which I know to be uh, 
and I use my hand. And this is what's cool about this is this is very paleo in a sense, or paleoskeletal, would you call it? Okay, so I've got it in my hand, and it's and there's it's two. A, whoa! In one. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God! You're getting hand feel, and you're getting. We have to buy this coffee. The taste as well. Yeah. So <clears throat> that was a totally different experience. I literally, it's choking me up. It's amazing what I got out of this Sumatra Lintong with a handful. It's a very earthy coffee. How do you discover earth? Do you go, do you go smell it? Do you go taste it? Or do you put earth in your hands? You feel it. You, you feel it. You feel it. I think we're going to have a whole new following too. This is really going to resonate with people who are open to certain, um, to sort of, uh, you know, mind-body connections, shutting off the brain and, and letting the body take over. And there's definitely a certain amount of absorption that happens in the hand as well. Yeah. So, well, I feel it, yeah. And this is one problem is, is do we, we rinse our spoons, do we wash our hands between every cup? I, I don't know because I feel like some of the residue, I'm still feeling this. I'm still feeling this coffee right now. It, it hasn't gone away. And I can see, you know what? I can see that. It, it's, it's not, it's, it's much more visceral than the, the mouth tasting, the mouth feel. It's the long feel. feel. It's, it's the long feel. It's the long feel. Yeah. Now we could do this with gloves on and it could be more sanitary, but I, I really feel that this regressive aspect of hand feel tasting, can we call it that? I don't know what to call it, uh, is, is really where where this whole thing kind of comes together mind body hand coffee hand mouth feel hand feel mm -hmm. well hand to mouth feel there you have it you know, hand to mouth is a very powerful like i'm living hand to mouth well i'm tasting hand to mouth i'm i'm at this i've gone down to this level that's so basic that's so real and I feel my cupping posture is just so much better. It's, everything's, everything's much more aligned. I'm going to, okay, I'm just going to stop and do some downward dog. But. We have a lot to consider this weekend. Right. So I didn't right. feel like we could finish until we showed our calibration method, our testing method, which sadly it's, it has to be a two-person method because if you're blind, you're blind. But, you know, this is part of us. You know, we have a passion here for full flavor coffees. We like coffees to be large yeah, like, so this is um this is the method that we're using currently so dan are you all set i can't see a thing okay and uh, the jute works great and danny are you gonna do the assisting yes uh, okay so what can you why don't you guys just explain it then uh you know we're trying to determine the sweetness in this coffee um we're cupping sumatras today Mm -hmm. And um, so Danny's going to go ahead and put uh, the coffee in question in my right hand. Okay. And from there, we've created three different uh, sweetener solutions. Are you we're, saying you can feel the sweetness? It's not just... We're attempting to see, okay. yeah, what, uh, you know, how, uh, what we're able to determine from hand feel, uh, if we can tell the difference between... Okay. Three different types of sweeteners. So, and, and is a, are you starting with your right hand for a reason, or is it just uh, right... It's really a placeholder. I mean, I'm fairly ambidextrous when it comes to hand feel. Um, okay. So I, I'm just choosing my right for this okay. situation. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Just, just go for Here's it. Here's sample one. Is this, uh, so we're doing the coffee in my right hand, correct? Or are we doing? Well, you figure it out, right? This is I need something to base this on. So I need, I need, good, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Are these the hand, these, these are the hand feel samples, right? Yes. Are you, you want another hand feel sample in your? Hand or you he needs want, a calibration. You want a calibration. Calibration. Yeah. Oh, okay. There okay. you go. There we go. There you okay. go. Okay. And that the weight was, just isn't okay. quite right. Um, are, are you balancing? Are you feeling a weight difference? I'm Is definitely that... feeling a weight difference. If you notice, my right hand actually dropped a little bit lower. I, uh, I see. Not we didn't see that, but I mean, I think that's just. I think the folks at home can it. rewind the video and they'll be able to attest that my right hand actually dropped a little bit lower. And uh, it's definitely not the right sugar for this okay. coffee. So can you go ahead, Danny, and give me uh, okay. in my left hand an another uh, coffee sample? Okay. Sure. Calibration? Yes, the calibration, please. Again, we haven't gotten rid of the spoons. Oh, the calibration. Okay. 
okay. was going to be the other way around, but like I said, I'm fairly but ambidextrous. With how is this blind candle. if you know which one is the calibration? Well, I know which one the calibration is by the temperature. Okay. I, I can definitely feel the difference. So. Yeah. Um, it's I, what I don't want to know is the type of you know the the actual coffee and okay. the kind of sweetener that it's being uh, tested against. So okay. can I get the the second sample of sweetener, please? Okay. So did you already explain the sweet that there are different sugars in the same coffee? We made three different solutions, or I did not make these solutions. Uh, okay. Danny made these solutions. Okay. okay. Now, water. I, that's closer, but that's definitely not the right hand feel. Do you need okay. a calibration, or are you good? I need another calibration. Okay. I see all the, the, the coffees just sort of, um, I mean, I, I don't okay. want to be doubt this, but I just see it dripping out of your hand. You can, that's what I'm paying attention to is actually the way that it's oh. vacating my hand through the, uh, through the tightness of my fingers there. Now that feels about right. The weight's there, the okay. viscosity between my fingers is there. Wait, can you just, what kind of sugar is that? I'm just curious. Do you know? Can you guess? Where'd I you have guess? no idea. Oh, that wasn't, it was the rice syrup. It's rice syrup. Okay. Which makes sense because yeah. we're cupping that's, that's Indonesian this, right? coffee. Yeah. And we yeah, get yeah. that a lot. We get the uh, rice syrup. This is the calibration that we use. Uh, okay. It's just another way, it's just another tool to gather information about the coffees that we're cupping and really get a better idea of what right. flavors we're, we're sensing. And I think we should just say we're just investigating this. You know, we haven't like figured this out or anything. So we're not trying to act, say, oh, we know what we're doing. We're, we're looking into this, you know, and trying to find out, is there something that we've been missing? It's that, a scientific yeah, approach. We're definitely going to have to do this about... Five, six hundred more times, probably, to get the right yeah. data. Yeah. Yeah, but I think I think we're I think we're onto this. Okay. This is definitely. Yeah. It was great. Okay. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. This yeah. makes it really much more clear. I'll wash my hands. Yeah.